All right, well today we're working on something a little bit different. What's a three, three cylinder diesel? Is that what this three is? Three cylinder, 12.5 kW. Yeah, 12.5 kW, three cylinder uh, diesel oh. on end generator. And it's been going on now for, this intermittent starting has been happening for what, six oh, or eight months? Yeah, something like that. So six or eight months, every now and then it just won't start. It's random. You go out here, you take, one time you took the cover off, got, got to move things around, touched a connector in here and, and it started working. Then it worked for months again, yes. and then all of a sudden it's, it, we had another no start situation. Did the same thing. We got in here, opened up the cabinet, got it moving around, things started working. Now, Onan recommended it for us to change out the wiring harness, but it's they say it is a major job because there's wires that run all over the place. Uh, but while we was in here making with it, we noticed there's like three relays in here. One is called a start run relay. And so I thought, well, seeing they're relatively easy to get to, and this is already, what, 14, 15 years old? Yeah. Huh? How old is this? Eight. Oh, eight. I'm pardoned. Oh, pardon me. Eight years old. So we're going to take a, another approach and try to change these relays because they're not that expensive because I know relays can act that way, be, be intermittent. So that's our little project today. And if you happen to have an intermittent note start situation, this may be your problem also. So we're gonna dig in here, just, it's not, not much. A few screws here to take this tank loose. You see we've already, already been in here. Get this little radiator part out of the way. Get that out, and you see the relays back in there in the back. There we go. Get out of the way. We need some light on the subject. Let's get some light on here. Okay. You see back there, we got three, three relays. I, I got one already removed because I got the number off of it, so I could Google it and get some replacement relays. So we got a total of three in there. A lot of wires, so we're just going to take each wire off slowly and change it as we go. So we're going to swap out those relays and see if we get lucky and see if the intermittent no start situation goes away. So we will report back to you if it does. Just another tip for you, because this, this also can happen sometimes on this these style of generators, because you got your you got your outside start and then you got your inside start button. And so sometimes if you if you from the inside it won't start, but you come out here and you start it from the outside, it could be a connector. I'll show you the connector. This connector here because it's all wrapped up in plastic now, but sometimes it can get moisture in it and that can cause you trouble. So uh, check that connector, make sure it's good and dry, just in case you have that scenario where you can't start it from the inside, but you can start it from the outside. Check this connector, that could be, be your issue also. Okay, so relay number one has changed. Here's the old relay. Here's the new ones we got. And I, I looked at the schematic to make sure they are identical. And, but I just wanna, Remind you, you pull each wire off one at a time. It's a tight spot in here, and we got three of these relays to deal with. But you know, you know, every wire is black, so there's no difference if you get, get things mixed up. But I believe each wire has its own part number on it. But uh, yeah, you just don't want to go in there and start pulling off wires. You really have a nightmare getting everything back in place. So I've got this one already changed, and now I got two more to go. But as you can see, it's a kind of tight squeeze. So when I get in there, I just pull off one, one wire at a time and put it on the new one, one at a time. So uh, we'll get back to it. Now you see the red light flashing? Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're cooking. So all right, see there, I'm on my second relay. So I've got, two, now you've got the camera in my way. All right, there we go. Now we can both see. I got me a cameraman today. But you can see how tight it is. One wire at a time. Oh, I'm missing right there. There we go. It's like on this one, that terminal's not being used. And where's the other one already? Already changed. Oh! There. Yeah, okay. there's, a, there's a third one in there somewhere. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is, back in the back. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of odd. Some use some terminals and some use diff different ones as you're going along. But anyway, I'm down to one, one more to change. 
You're not a very good cameraman. So while changing this, I did notice something. Check out this one little wire. See how it's wore? You see the wear on there? Where it's wore down to the white. It's not down to the to the wire itself, to the copper. But you can see, because you said this is eight years old, in just eight years it's taken quite a bit of wear. So there's probably a possibility with as many wires and the way these things shake and vibrate, if you if one of those happened to be on a sharp piece of metal it wouldn't take long to rub down and have you a problem. So, uh, I just thought that was interesting. And that, see that big old bundle of wires? Fun, fun, fun. Alright, so there you go. All three relays have been replaced. No big deal. Tools you're going to need for this project is a quarter inch drive, seven, here it is, seven, seven millimeter socket. That'll get you going. Now don't do like I did earlier and drop the stupid thing. Because if you do, you're going to have fun. Because when I dropped it, it fell down in here. And it lands actually on top of the radiator. I use my little scope. And shh, shh, shh. Making too much noise. That ratchet. But I used my scope when I dropped it. Went down in here. And I used my little scope, uh, endoscope, to find out where the stinking thing went. And end up it was, that you can see the radiator down in there. Get this out of the way. And... So there's a radiator. So it end up rolling back in there, and I got a magnet, got a hold of it. So just in case you drop a socket, that's where it's going to land most likely. Which is it? Yeah, there's a hole back in there. It goes way down deep. All right, all right let's give it a try. Let's see if it'll start. Push that button after we change the relays. All right. So it works. Now all we gotta do is give this thing how many months before six, six months. So if we're gonna wait six months, if it starts every time, we'll consider it fixed. If it doesn't, then we may have to go after the uh, changing out the wire harness. That would be no fun. But it's an RV, so you know what that means. It's always something. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we are about six months later. I'm not really sure why I left off at the last video, but six months ago, uh, my buddy was having an intermittent no start situation on his Onan generator. So, and he went to an Onan dealer, you went to a dealership, didn't you? And yep. they told, they, they recommended replace this wiring harness right here, which was, what, $500 or something for this wiring harness? They said that was the most likely cause. And he brought it to me, we was going to do that project. And I said, well, before we do that, let's look at something simple. Let's look at the relay. So that's what you saw earlier. I replaced the relays so because it was intermittent we wasn't for sure if that was going to fix it or not but after six months he started up numerous times golly over 100 150 times since then because he'd go out and test it about every day and actually there it goes actually that was the auto start wasn't it yeah so that was the auto start that kicked in because we was here at the campground he just disconnected it from the, the shore power so the rv had an air conditioner call, so it automatically started the generator. So, nice smart generator. Anyway, so if you have an intermittent no start situation on your own end generator, uh, try the relays first. It's a simple fix, and I'll put a link down below the video to the relays that worked on this. Uh, they not they weren't own end re relays, but it doesn't have the own end name, but it's still the same voltage and amp, so it'll work just fine for you. Again, thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. See you bye.